What's up guys? Today I got another unboxing for you. It is the Zoom G5 multi-effect guitar pedal. And I also got a bag for it. I read a lot of good reviews about this pedal and I needed one to play in concert. So I decided to get one. So let's see what it looks like. I got mine from Amazon. Um, brand new, it's $2.99. You can get them used for about $2.60 on eBay and whatnot. You win a good bid, maybe $200, but I wanted to buy it new, so you're looking at about $2.99 brand new. Alright, so first we got the Zoom bag. Um, they had a gator bag and they had a zoom bag, but I decided to go with the actual brand, you know, it would be a good fit. Plus, I don't know, it looks cool to me. It says zoom on it and everything. Pretty cool, nice lightweight, got a handle, uh, looks like it's got a couple pockets. Obviously for the zoom pedal and different wires and whatnot. And there's the bag. Alright, now the actual zoom G5, here it is. First we got our operation manual, looks like it um, gives us instructions for the software, uh, you know, all the paperwork and all that stuff. Then over here it looks like we got the power cord, power adapter, and we got our actual G5. It's got a little bit of weight to it. So there it is. Yeah, nice and shiny. Now the Zoom G5, it, um, it's got a lot of cool things I like. It has like 140 uh, different, different uh, effects and amps and mods that you can do on it and whatnot. And it's got uh, four buttons for your presets and they'll light up here. And it's also got a tube boost for um, soloing and whatnot. Um, and it's also got your pedal, just like any other pedal I guess from the back. But this one also goes side to side, which I heard a lot about, which you could like... I have to play around with it and learn it, I guess. But uh, you can just change sounds, you know, I guess tone. Um, but you know, basic standard multi effects pedal. So let's plug it in and try it out. Now I'm gonna plug it in here. See, see how it is. Turn it on and play a little guitar with it. Um, let's do a little bit of demonstration. See what, see what's going on. Plug it into the wall and the little plugs right here. All right. So you plug it in. Lights going on here. All right, so right now we got um we got four forty setup stuff. Um, let's go in here and see what see what it talks about a bit. Cool. Looks like uh, it comes with a little bit of a warranty warranty card. Um, tells you your version, the version I bought, software history. Downloaded onto it. Oh, that's nice. Here's a uh, list of it. Looks like every single effect on here. So that's pretty awesome. That's a lot of a lot of effects. Cool. So if you know you're looking for a specific effect that you can't find, you can go to your little chart. That's pretty nifty. And then here's the, the software startup guide. Looks like uh, you can apparently use this for uh, direct guitar into your recording software so you don't even need to like put effects on it in the software and whatnot. You can just do it straight from here so you can play it live and just edit it from there. So that's pretty cool. You can play it straight into your laptop. But for now, I'm just gonna mess around with it. Let's see what effects we got. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna get your guitar. And first things first, 
into your guitar. You're gonna plug the other end into the input right here on the very end. And it's got a little picture of guitar for it. You all know. Um, and then you need a second chord, obviously. For the pedal. And you're gonna go from, if you're just using an amp like this, uh, you're gonna put it in the left, because that's the modern one. You put it in the left um, output right there. If you have a splitter, you can do left and right, and you can put in both those, but I don't have one right now. So, And then also, as you can see, you can put it in uh, you can do MIDI, headphones, um, and you can even put it into your computer, straight to your computer in that USB slot. You can see it, but... And then if you have like a sustain pedal or any other things, you can put them right there in the control. All right. And then you're going to take that chord from your left output, and just put it into your amp, and it should work. Get you a pick. So now it's set up. Also, one thing is that I saw there's a plastic cover over these and it kind of was annoying me. So I was going to peel it off, but you can leave that on, peel it off, whatever you want. But. Alright, so those are the ones that just popped up when I, right when I plugged in the guitar. But it looks like you can just rotate through the different ones. You can rotate through tons of them just to see which one you want. And then also this has um, a looper, so you hold this for a looper. My guitar is way out of tune, so let's figure out where this tuner is. Hold three for tuner. Oh wait, hold on. Hold four to go back to home, then hold three for tuner. There we go. As you can see, it's got a nice little tuner on there for you. I think you just can't really see that part, but there's a nice tuner on there for you. for a little bit, set a couple presets. Um, right now all I got on is a distortion and, and a delay. I really like delay. But it sounds pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm playing around for a little bit. Right now I'm playing with the T scream, delay, and distortions.
Hope you like this video. Um, I'm going to play around with the Zoom G5, see how it is. Uh, but I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. See ya.